So a while ago I made a device that could control the Chrome Dinosaur game using physical movements, but that was in 2D, so now I want to step it up a notch and control a game in 3D. And I thought, what game could be better suited for this than Minecraft? So there are three major controls in Minecraft that I'll need to implement. Rotation, walking, and hand interactions, like hitting and building. I'll start with rotation, since that's the trickiest to implement. I'll need to handle vertical rotation, also called pitch, and horizontal rotation, also called yaw. To do this, I used an MPU 6050 inertial measurement unit, which includes a gyroscope and an accelerometer. This was then connected to an Arduino MKR microcontroller, which will act like a computer mouse using the mouse library. The gyroscope in the MPU 6050 measures degrees per second on the X, Y, and Z axes, which would seem to make it perfect for measuring my horizontal and vertical rotation. If I multiply my degrees per second by the amount of time it took to perform a rotation, I'll get how many degrees I moved, and I can add this to get my final angle. I can then move my mouse based on this angle. Unfortunately, my degrees per second measurement includes random errors, and since I add them together, this error accumulates. For example, here I'm using the method I just described. I start out staring directly in front of me in the game, but if I move around a bit, I end up staring into the sky when I return to the starting position. To solve this, I use the MPU 6050's accelerometer, which doesn't make a lot of sense at first glance. How do I use linear acceleration to measure my rotational angle? The answer is gravity. If you remember from physics, the Earth's gravity pulls you down at an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, which is what the y-axis of the accelerometer measures when it's facing directly up. However, if you rotate it a bit, the y-axis of the accelerometer now measures, for example, 4.9 meters per second squared, and it'll always measure this acceleration at this angle. We can form a right triangle with this, which allows us to use trigonometry. So if we take the inverse cosine of the ratio of the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we get 60 degrees. Since we don't accumulate anything with this method, the error also won't accumulate, which solves our problem from the gyroscope. Here, I'm using the new method, and as you can see, I no longer stare into the sky when I return to the starting position. With rotation figured out, I now have to tackle walking, which is thankfully way easier. To do this, I reused the force-sensitive resistors from my chrome dinosaur project to read pressure from a footstep. I took my shoes and then taped a pressure sensor into each one and connected this to the Arduino microcontroller, which will act like a keyboard and press the W key when I take a step. I wanted to make the distances accurate, so that each meter I walk in real life corresponds to the meter walked in Minecraft. To do this, I found that the average length of a step is about 0.67 meters. I also found that the average walking speed in Minecraft is about 4.3 meters per second. So this means that whenever the Arduino detects a step, it will press the W key to walk forward for about 0.16 seconds. I also could have used the MPU 6050's accelerometer to detect steps, like a Fitbit. But this isn't as accurate as pressure sensors on the feet, and accuracy is very important in Minecraft where a misstep can cause you to jump off a cliff. With walking figured out, I finally just had to tackle hand interactions like breaking and building. To do this, I just connected four buttons to the Arduino microcontroller, which will again act like a keyboard and mouse. When I press the first button, it will emulate a mouse left click to break stuff, and when I press the second button, it will emulate a mouse right click to build stuff. I also added a third button, which will emulate pressing a space to jump. With everything done, I then strapped the device onto a friend to test. Look, look at me go, hopping up a hill in Minecraft, breaking blocks in Minecraft. Oh, I have a stick! Oh, hello sheep. Oh, you're gonna get destroyed. Get over here. Yes. Yes, baby pig. Not even the children are safe. I, put, I dug myself to a hole. No! That's what you get. I made a few important observations from this test, the most notable being that the pressure sensors would get easily torn. To solve this, I reinforced it with a piece of cardboard, which actually worked surprisingly well. Another important observation was that it fell apart very easily since it's built on a breadboard, especially the buttons which took a lot of abuse. To solve this, I ditched the breadboard and designed a much cleaner printed circuit board, and in the process of doing so, upgraded the basic buttons to mechanical keyboard switches. So this is what the final printed circuit board looks like. Let's put it together.
Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention the most important upgrade, RGB LED gamer lights. Now let's finally test this. Okay. Despite building the device, I was shockingly bad at using it, with an average life uh. expectancy of under 2 minutes. Damn it. Oh. Okay, I died. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna die. Yup, I died. Oh. So to determine if my device is actually bad, or if I'm just a bad Minecraft player, I strapped the device onto my friend, who is the sweatiest Minecraft player that I know. Here we go. Ah, uh, hello, fellas. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, this one's got a child! Oh god, we're murdering. I guess we're murdering tonight. Oh my god, there's so many of them! Alright, we're, we're going places, we're going places. Hey, I, I think the... No, I'm not, but oh, shit. I won! Half a, Half a heart warrior! Kill it. Kill it. Oh, little shit, this is it, this is it. Oh, oh let's go! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, a little shit, not this. Oh, let's go. Can we not? Can we not do this, sir? I blocked that too, by the way. Where you're charging a skeleton? Yeah. Eh. There we go, let's go! I don't want to fall off a cliff, so we're gonna turn. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Nice block. Nice block. Oh, zombie train! Oh man, I'm killing these man. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna regen my health slightly. And then we're gonna come after this Enderman. Oh, nah, who, who needs that? Uh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh my god, there's so many zombies! It's fine. Did he aggro it? Not yet. Oh. Come at me, bro. Okay, let me just stand under a tree. Let me just wait for the health to regen slightly. Yup. And then we'll come after this Enderman. Oh no! Where'd he go? Where'd the Enderman go? Oh, should I just come after him? I have half health. Oh, are you attacking it? Yeah, I'm attacking it! I'm attacking it! I'm dying! I hit it twice! Where's the shield? <laughs> You're just spinning around. Oh no! I hit it! Oh, you, wait, you got it? I hit it twice! Okay. Let me hit it one more time. Okay. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Two hearts! <laughs> oh my god.